Welcome back, everybody. We are on our final match of the day. Timeless versus students of the game. This is definitely, I think it's, it's going to be a close one as well. Timeless, of course, yesterday played it really close. But unfortunately, you got the loss. But hey, today, maybe do they get the win? They couldn't close it out. It really it felt so like Timeless close. was going to win it. But then yeah. we went over to Circuit Real on map five. And for the most part, it did feel like Toronto Defiant were in control when it came to Circuit. You know, you get a deflect kill and stuff to like cap points. But it felt like Timeless. They had a chance. They yeah. couldn't close it out against Toronto. Yeah. It was well, a good showing. I mean, they are going up against the students of the game. So let's check out their roster first. Jake, what do you have to say to them? I mean, I think these guys, tons and tons of strong, strong players on this team. Individually, I think mechanically, they're all top tier. Infected was a real standout on the Orissa. Um, they did take a really rough loss earlier to M80, but you know, after their more recent performances, that does look like an aberration, or it's just the fact that maybe M80 has been the, the sleeping giant all along in the region. Um, and I think other opponents might not fare so well against students of the game. I think this one is going to be difficult to call ahead of time. Um, it will, I think, be a lot about this Orissa mirror, as the, the meta seems to be solidifying in favor of this Orissa Tracer Sojourn composition, with a bit of variation, though, on these DPS especially. And on the other side of things, we got Timeless, yep. who are looking stacked across the board. But mm. there are a few individuals who stand out specifically. I think that Chopper has been really good on the long range hit scan. You know, when we're talking about these people like, uh, for example, Vision, Hydron Seeker, I think that Chopper belongs in that conversation. I also pulled out some Genji. Um, but there are, you know, Riker, we're seeing Riker in the lineup here. Yesterday we saw Icy for some maps, right? So they, they sub in and out they all sub the in time. A lot. Yeah, and Sojin as well has some great uh, Sojin moments. But there are two people who I think stood out, particularly yesterday. One of them was Rocket on the Tracer. Uh, but also another one was Opener on the Lucio. And so I just want to show you quickly how they combined okay. to find a couple of picks. I'm just walking. Well, Tempor, guys, go, go on, bro. Do your but thing. I wanted to show uh, one moment that stood out to me yesterday about how they really approached a team fight really smartly. So, just to set the stage here, we're in Hollywood Point A. So you can see, you know, we're playing the balcony here. We got a, we got a great line of sight if we're playing the Sojourn from this cafe. So uh, they're playing the D.Va composition with the Sojourn. So they're just trying to protect their Sojourn as much as possible. Now, Toronto, they are playing a Saria, which we don't see a ton of except for Dante earlier today. The Saria is so scary to like be close to because the Saria can just pressure you immediately. So what they're going to do is they're actually going to swap here, move away from the Saria, which is very close to the cafe you can see here through the wall the Saria is very close so chop um, sojourn on the Saria oh, sojourn on the sojourn <laughs> is going to move away from the Saria. so we can play this one out and we can see how they're quickly shifting positioning based on where the Saria is to try to get good line of sight and dodge this Saria who's pushing cafe now we can go ahead and in a little bit we'll pause here as the diva comes up and we can see here that opener look at this look at this speedy little guy look at him go He's going down here. Where is Blood going? Where is he going? <laughs> Where is the Lucio going? But it's actually because while this push happened from the side of Toronto Defiant. Yeah, you can see someone, Sugar Free, they're playing over here. But if we look in the other corner over here, we can actually see that the supports are kind of stuck over here. And so Opener and Rocket has find an opening. And we can play this one out. It's a Tracer and a Lucio dive. And this is what I think Opener does really well, combining with Rocket. Finding openings like this, CJ comes in as well on the Kiriko, and they find a pick on Paul in a crucial overtime here in Hollywood. And so this is what I would really look out for. We know that Sunjun Chopper do a great job, you know, playing these flex heroes, playing uh, the, the Genji and the Soldier and stuff like that. But Rocket and Opener, they combine really well to find picks when they see an opening in the enemy positioning. So look out for that. Yeah, yeah. it's a huge duo. I think with Opener, the veteran experience on Lucio knows really well when to find those timings, when to enable the main group and when to go to the flank. And then Rocket, that individual firepower coming from this up and coming player is huge. Oh, so this is the start. Okay, so this makes a lot of sense. We're gonna see Icy come in on the start. This mm. does, to me, suggest a potential Arissa look, which on control is, I think, especially relevant. Chopper had most flexibility, I would say, across the line where Rocket was always flanking, Sonjin was always playing uh, the main backline DPS, where Chopper, it's harder to predict. I think he's played the Genji, he played the Sojourn, uh, leaves them a little bit more options, and with diverse points on control, sometimes that can be really valuable, playing different points in, in very different styles. I mean, I think what, Timeless is a great team, I mean, and students of the game as well. Uh, we're going to Samoa first, selected by Timeless. Jake and Johnny, uh, you know, we just saw both of the lineups and with the map pick uh, by Timeless going to Samoa, what can we get out from that? 
I think Samoa to me is pretty straightforward. I'm more interested in, in the bans. We see students of the game banning Ilios, not wanting to take the dive map. And the ban on Nepal, I think honestly, this is just teams banning what they saw. Like students of the game picked Nepal yesterday, and so Timeless want to ban it out. Just throwing a wrench into their uh, opponent's comp there, and then feeling a little bit better about Samoa versus Li Jing Tower. Could be, could be a little bit of complexity, but nothing major. It seems like the meta is pretty stable right now. All right, well, I know uh, Jake really loves doing press, so let's do it quickly. Jake, who do you got? Just nope, fast, fast, I'm just fast, fast, not fast, say anything and not it's say anything. Go. No, yeah, how about you? you no, okay. Me. None of these guys want to do it. Sucks. Hey, coin flip. Casters, course, how about you guys? Well. Yeah, I got time is 3-2. There bro. you go. <laughs> time is 3-2. Matt, what do you got? Uh, I would say timeless as well. It's like a bit sad because I don't want to see either of these teams really go because they have so much like good young talent on them. Uh, but I would say, uh, and maybe we're just kind of like, maybe Timeless had the game of their life yesterday against Toronto, and like, uh, they kind of come back to earth a little bit today, but I, I would say I would favor them in a close series. Yeah, it very much feels that way, but like Jake said, the transit of properties in NA is so strange and devious and complex. Like, they had a very close game against Paris in Pajamas, who just got zero, well, three zeroed by Luminosity, like, quite uh, considerably, yeah. and then they had a map five also against Toronto, who are probably the best team in North America right now. It's insane. It's all over the place, but that makes for fun overwatch, I think. Timeless and uh, students of the game loading in for map number one here, our last series of the day and of NA. We are going over to Samoa, Matt. And yeah, I see, and Timeless as a roster too, been very willing to use a lot of their substitutions on the bench. Rike has been coming in for some of these more dive comps that they want to pick up, uh, playing the Winston to quite a good effect against a very good dive team in Toronto Defiant the other day. Yeah, nah, I think uh, the the map pick of Samoa. I I don't know how much like the map pick really like impacts things. Like, right. uh, especially for control. Like, I think control. Everybody's kind of like just trying to play like mirror, same type of stuff, right? Uh, not to you know kind of fall behind. Uh, Rocket probably gets the TP out of spawn. Then we'll see. Uh, same with scissors. Then we'll see a tracer. So we'll get an even matchup. Yeah, tracer, Soge. Yeah, this is the meta that was envisioned. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Trying to speed on the back line, unawares. But yeah, as soon as the game, knowing that times are probably running this comp, they had a, a small suspicion, I'd imagine. Oh, Scissors almost ends up going down there. A couple of just normal shots by Chopper there to the head. Rotations on the back line. That's the name of the game. Good shot onto Rack. Rack ends up surviving somehow. A little bit more of a miracle there. Same with Rocket, also going pretty low. My word, these Sojans. Already putting in some mean work as the point unlocks. Icy trying to juggle it, but it looks like soon as the game, yeah, they're going to cap first. Yeah, they do cap, but I, I think it's just like high ground side. Uh, that's where you saw in the last series, right? Uh, really kind of pay off for the Sojourn up there. And actually, it's a rotation from Timeless, so they actually go to the point. Now they give up this side of the map here. Two students of the game in the point. God. Icy was in serious trouble there, and then in fact he was just screaming for help, trying to back up. A lot of the time, just the Tracers trying to chunk the Arista low, get that armor off the Arista, and it's so much easier to kill them, plus the DPS passive gets pretty nasty. Oh, oh okay. A little 180 from Scissors survives, kills Rocket. Okay, this is go time as soon as the game now, Matt. Yeah, looks like they're gonna kind of like push on forward here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get like a huge advantage, right? Like maybe you flip the point. The tracer should be back in the fight rather fast. Could Sune rush too? Opener dead? Okay, wow, what a turnaround. Yeah, Rocket just overextending just by a couple of miles. Although saying that, all right, Rocket gets a, a random kill on the end of that fight. Infected down, but it's a, a bit more of a clean fight there from students of the game. So a quick taxi from Rack should remedy that. Yeah, it's like just pushing them back further enough. Like, you know, Rocket ended up getting back into the fight there uh, at the end, but it was just pushing them back far enough that the Kitsune Rush, you know, the disruptor shot on the point just didn't allow them to get back on it. This is going to be the Kitsune Rush from CJ. Yeah, just guarantee uh, the cap. Students of the game, they just, yeah, yeah, they just back up a little bit. It guarantees the cap. Uh, for a second there, uh, before that kill goes down, you'd think maybe students of the game, they disengage and then they sound barrier back in. I uh, know, but after that kill on the scissors, a spear at long range from Icy, not going to be doing that. Yeah, no way. Scissors trying to get out of there as well. Just trying to run away. Should be back in just a moment. As soon as the game now, trying to find their opportunity to flip. Oh, PG just shut down by a kunai across the map. He pulled the overclock as well, just wasn't expecting the damage from long range. 
CJ with a nice kill. Sound barrier from Rank Attack. A later one this time. Terror Surge comes in. Icy does not fear the Orisa, but the rest of the team definitely should have done. A couple of trade kills there for the Terror Surge, but is it enough? Students of the game have already killed CJ with a nicely placed post bomb from Scissors. 66% and counting for Timeless. Opener manages to get out alive, sneaking away to that mega health pack. And this is a flip flop of a map. <laughs> yeah, it's really rare. Uh, I know see a few more kills come in here for students of the game, but uh, what, this is like our third or fourth point flip? <laughs> like, uh, you know, and nobody's above like 80%, right? Like, it's really odd uh, to see like this little percentage. Like, it just seems like every single fight the point ends up flipping where students of the game in oh. control now. Katsune rush there from Cal is that's going to back up timeless. Oh, if they get the cap there, that would have been uh, horrendous from students of the game. That Kutune Rush not putting to good use, but all good. PG at least snags one kill away onto Rocket. A little less uh, flank pressure now. And without Rocket's Pulse Bomb, it's going to be hard to take down the Orisa and even take down the backline of Force Suzu. Chopper trying to dash away. No heals to be found, though, as Infected manages to get Chopper on the exit. The slide wasn't enough. The speedy Orisa just chasing him down. And uh, well, Matt, there's going to be another flip as soon as the game win that fight. But Timeless, they get 94%. Yeah, they see the slide gone, infected. Uh, it just marches on forward, ends up getting the kill on a chopper, and that's so important. This, though, I, I feel like should be heavily favored for Timeless. Uh, even with all this trading back and forth, double support alt here towards the end with nothing on the side of students of the game to deal with that, uh, it would be probably a pretty big fumble to lose this. Yeah, this rush popped instantly from CJ as soon as they approached that point. Pulse bomb for Rocket. They've just got an overwhelming ult advantage right now. The stick on the Orisa didn't even need it. Just fell over to the sheer overwhelming amount of damage there from Chopper and the rest of the gang. Timeless now putting themselves on the point. The students of the game try and come back. Carl, they're so close to this rush. And same with Rack Attack, close to the beat. They just need to survive, Matt. Timeless pulled the sound barrier and they managed to find the kill onto Scissors. I see holding down the fort now. As students of the game need to find another touch. Rack attack just so, does so just in time as those support ultimates are so close, but Rack ends up going down. Cal, as soon as they get the rush, they lay it down, but that's it. It's not enough. Timeless. They end up snagging the map away or the round away from students of the game. Those ultimates, they just needed to be online. The back line for students of the game, they were so close. Rack went down, what, 3% towards a beat. That could have been the difference maker, but it was timeless in the end. That flip flop of the game ended up uh, going their way. Yeah, they use that Kisune rush uh, from Timeless, just run right at Infected, take him out. Uh, and they end up holding on to the beat, you know, for PGE to have that overclock. They know how good he is on the Soldier and that uh, if you don't have that beat, maybe end up taking out a player or two and then things start to fall apart. So you hold on to that sound barrier for that big Soldier and ult. Uh, and, uh, big props to students of the game to even keep that going for as long as they did. Players juggling that point for a very long time as Symmetra TPs and then the switch to Tracer for both sides. So another mirror matchup. Yeah, it feels like we're going to see this Especially on control. Of course, Timers can definitely just sub in Riker when they want to as well. But when Icy's in, Orisa is the order of the day. And Scissors just skulking around the point. Same with Rocket on the sidelines. Taking very different approaches here as the point unlocks. Does mean Scissors is going to get pressure on the point. As Rocket now realizes that and has to match Scissors in the neutral. All oh, forces the recall. It's going to get the mini too. So as the recall advantage, Infected is just down on the point though. There's just no heals for them. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if he got like moved down to the point or something along those lines because uh, you know, just jumped down and nobody was within line of sight. So nobody able to give him any type of healing whatsoever. Uh, you know, PGE does pick up one, but without your Orisa, it's going to be very difficult to like flip the point. Maybe the Tracer can kind of like dance on it, contest a little bit. So, uh, it does look like Scissors will be on the point, just kind of contesting. Now you have Infected back in the fight, but both sides going to be back at 100%. Oh, Rack kills opener. That's a good start, at least. And CJ super low, too. That back line from Timeless just crumbling. Same with Rocket. All right, we're in for another one. Here we go. Here's the flip. I'm ready for Timeless to get the flip instantly as soon as they, they win this next fight. So, yeah, I mean, uh, both of the, like, you know, obviously Timeless takes Toronto the distance uh, the other day when we were watching. I mean, yeah. uh, students of the game uh, look just as good uh, here today. So two of the, you know, better young teams 
you uh, know, in NA, where, you know, remember when I was talking about earlier, you get a little bit more structure for some of these teams who, you know, haven't had, you know, the, you know not everybody's had the Overwatch League experience, right? Uh, you know, who knows the ceilings of these two types of teams? Yeah. I think uh, Jake caught it perfectly. The ceiling of Rocket and Chopper definitely hasn't been met just yet. There's both rushes, one low ground, one high. As soon as the game do rip that beat, they got the Katuna Rush to play in as well. Rocket trying to chew through that over health bar on PGE, who's uh, giving them the runaround at the moment. Nice little boot from Rack Attack 2 to help with the kiting. As soon as the game's still in control at that point, that Terra Surge on the floor does hit CJ and Opener and Icy in the front line, but it did end up getting Suzu, so no damage actually landed. Nice little boot, but Infected does jump back down to the floor as Chopper is in his sights, but can't quite find the kill. And now he has to turn his back. The Terra Surge does land, decent amount of damage, but jumping on board with PGE, who's just lining people up and knocking them down with this overclock. Ends up Icy actually picking up that kill. An extremely messy fight with Timeless ending up capping about halfway through. 35% of building now. A scrappy affair, to say the very least. Yeah, as PG kind of throws that overclock in there at the end, it's, uh, you know, the one comes out from Chopper. It's like, oh, why not? Let me see if I can just turn the tides in this. He ends up getting one kill, uh, gets the kill on Chopper, but not able to find the other one as uh, Rocket was putting lots of pressure on him where uh, Pulse Bomb here for Scissor. Uh, you know, you land this on a support, you flip the point back rather quickly, and that's kind of been the story of at least this first map. Nobody able to kind of, like, win consecutive fights. Pulse bomb for Rocket. Oh, looking for somebody. Rack's already used that boob. Oh, what a stick from Rocket. Oh, that is sick. Oh, my God. Saw the boob. Didn't he have to worry about that? Jump straight in, gets a kill. This is going to even it up, though, with a pulse bomb of their own. Spears being from Infected to try and get away in a snipe from PGE. It was like a magic revealing trick. As soon as Effective moved out of the way, PG was there, ready with a railgun. A lot of cooldown juice from Icy there as he tries to take to the high ground to push Infected off. Time is in control of the point this whole time, Matt, as well. As a beat comes in just in time to save Icy, but he's still so low. No healing from CJ can be found as soon as the game, and now trying to find the flip eventually. But timing, uh, Timeless are trying to make this his last fight. 96% now as they Dude. get the flip. PGE is a uh, monster. PGE and Rocket just going back and forth have been uh, sick so far uh, in map number one, where it feels like the uh, you know the tracer for Tybless always coming up with a big play. And then on the other side, PG, whenever you see why they're saving the sound barrier when he's got the overclock, it feels like every single time he's got a railgun, uh, ends up picking up a kill. Yeah, someone's getting lasered across the map. All right, Rush on the top. Cal, 15 HP. Had to use the Suzu and the TP away. Is this an in to students of the game, though, in these final few moments? Can we go in? Can we go in? I'm on point. I'm on point. I'm on point. I'm on point. Push it. 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 Chaser, 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 chaser. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh, oh my god. Nice. They're all dead. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> what? You can call it ISO? You can call it ISO? <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> that was pretty close in the air when Rocket lands a double <laughs> with a pulse. <laughs> That was very close. What a piece now in uh, Samoa. Bro, my god. Uh, also, like, si Scissors also hits a crazy pulse bomb on yeah. a chopper, and it's CJ with like a like a cross map Suzu uh, able to seize him during that. I mean, uh, and and just when students of the game thought it was over, right? Uh, Rocket ends up with a double pulse, and then all of a sudden it's like, uh, and then yeah. it, wait, 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 it's not over. It's like, not over. Uh, okay, it's over. It's over. <laughs> it's, uh, man, this is a. Uh, this has felt like a very long map number one, just because both, like, nobody's able to hold any of these points. Uh, they just keep getting flipped back and forth. So these rounds just lasting uh, so much longer than like a typical round of control would last. And uh, right here, Jack, I think first fight is going to be enormous. Probably, the first fight probably decides the map here with how you can just, you know, you should be able to win a second fight here or at least continue to kind of hold the point for an extended period. So uh, both teams need to focus up. Quick rotation here for students of the game. So they should try and flip it on Timeless. I see in a little bit of trouble though. Look at Icy's positioning right now, but it's actually Scissors just doing a bit of goalkeeping. Although, unfortunately, he's let a couple slip through into the net. Uh, Rack Attack and Cal under an immense amount of pressure from Rocket. First cap goes to Timeless. Yeah. 
uh, you know, a, a positioning right there for Icy. I mean, he was getting just pelted in the side by PGE, but uh, uh, you know what uh, is even better than, uh, you know, if you, do, you don't have great positioning, you know what'll save you? You know, having your tracer just get into the back line, just <laughs> kill two players instantly. Uh, that, uh, in the history of Overwatch, that has solved a lot of problems for teams. Having a tracer who can just go into the back line, uh, just find a kill at ease. Is Rock able to do just that in that first fight? Yeah, he's nearing a pulse bomb too. A little bit further ahead than Scissors in terms of ult charge, about 30% or so. Scissors is trying to make Rocket's life a little bit harder though, as he uh, stops him from getting onto the back line. Very much a defensive tracer style right now from Scissors. I hear the recall, and so it did Scissors. I wonder if he's going to go for the chase. Well, Timeless are going to get Dover Pond. In fact, Open is actually the first one to go down. Pulse bomb, Suzu, PG saved once again. It's been good Suzu's across the board, both from CJ and Cal, as uh, both rushes have been used on the point. PG comes up with yet another kill with that railgun. No need for the overclock when you just got a, a neutral railgun like PGE's. We watch a fight where Rocket for Timeless will end up picking up two, and then the next fight, PGE just railguns down like three, <laughs> and then the next fight, Rocket just, now this fight, he'll just go kill two supports, uh, and then the next fight after, if we get it, we'll see uh, Bro, it's, PGE pick up some more it's kills. Actually it's actually crazy. the 1v1, like TXCXX, if anybody knows that uh, code for custom games, it's just 1v1. That's all it is. I'd like to see that content, actually. That'd be kind of fun. All right, Timeless, what you got on your uh, little attack here onto this point? They've already got 70% though, Matt, on the board, so they're in good standing at least. That's why that first fight's so big, right? Uh, you win first fight here, even with the second one, you can just extend for so long as the 30% here, four students of the game and oh, counting. That's going to be a sound barrier for both sides. It's the better one, though, for Timeless. Yeah, later B infected, using that Terror Surge in the front line to Chopper just rips him in two with that Railgun. Oh, PG, can he hear the Tracer? Oh, goes boobed away, I'm not sure. Students of the game should be able to take this point a little bit further. No, PG doesn't want to int onto the point just yet, just want to go for the quick reset, but Timeless closing in on a victory here on this first map. Yeah, that oh, sound barrier for Timeless just came so much later. Is that's going to be a, a spear on the chopper? It's going to get that, uh, you know, dash out. So maybe we'll see if there's going to be a little bit of follow-up. Looks like Scissor's trying to make a play. That's a pulse bomb, maybe Suzu. Chopper was super low there too, had to back off for just a brief moment. And now so do the rest of the students of the game, just fearing for their lives as that Kasune rush has been ripped. What a pulse bomb, Suzu perfectly timed again by Cal, and they come up with a kill to Rocket. Carry down now for Timeless, a 4v5 on the point. Infected trying to press the issue, forcing out Icy's cooldowns, but then just turns his vision straight towards Chopper. A perfect isolation kill, nothing for Icy there could have been done to save Chopper's life. Students of the game, they're gonna get the flip once again, Timeless at 99% now. But we, we literally, like, nobody can buy a second fight in a row. Uh, <laughs> you, yeah, everybody wins a fight and then just loses the next one. Is uh, If somebody was able to put together two consecutive fight wins, they would have won the map already uh, with how this one's been. But both of these teams just... Uh, the way when you have like the Sojourn Tracer combinations and like they're so you know, deadly and can kind of take over a game and you have players as talented as the ones uh, in the lobby right now, you know, when, when Rocket's able to pick up a kill or PGE, Scissors, you know, Chopper, like uh, it's going to turn the sides rather quickly. PG up on that high ground, you see, has that charged, you know, laser. It's in a great spot. All right, Cal trying to enter flow state right now as he does pull that rush and PG comes up with another big kill. CJ dead is bad news for Timeless. And these late deaths are going to be even worse too. Students of the game up to 90%. I mean, this might just be the shutout here. Matt, they've got four ults left, bro. Like they, Timeless can't even get back in. Opener dies with the sound barrier. Are they going to even be able to touch? I mean, with Chopper down, surely not. This is just it. There are ults still left on the table here. Timeless do manage to get one final touch to cause OT, but this is disaster right now for Timeless. A sound barrier does hit four as they do bundle in onto the point, but students of the game have got a beat of their own. A terror surge is good for damage on Icy. Instantly focused out. Students of the game, they do end up losing Cat, uh, CJ, but does it even matter? Cal dead, CJ gone, PGE, the trades are all over the place with both uh, Kiriko's dead. The damage is pretty much permanent, but Rocket what, is what still in. Not, How is he still that. alive? They finally take <laughs> okay. him out. His scissors finds the kill. Like, what is that ending? <laughs> uh, why is it always this map too? Samoa is oh. taken by students off the game. The most back and forth control point we've ever seen. And the whole map, I think uh, the same could be said for the whole map. That was absurd.
uh, and I mean, right there at the end, right? Rocket like lands that pulse bomb. You're like, there's no way. Like we have another player coming up spawn. Like maybe that one keeps going, but uh, students of the game, hold on in the end. Uh, wild back and forth map number one. Uh, they, but they were the team that ended up winning two fights in a row. Uh, everybody else just pretty much kind of extended you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They win those two fights back to back at the end. It was massive. Hey, and that's what counts to the end, man. Just winning two fights back to back and you get the dub. Like, that was just... Uh, I, I imagine the stats, <laughs> the stats are just so even, I, I'd imagine. You know, yeah, just, and the damage uh, is probably uh, crazy too. don't have them in front of them. Damage yeah. and healing and everything else because uh, there's just there was so much back and forth like this is a very long control map when all three rounds it was just like we win one fight you win the next we win four fight you win the next so yeah the damage and healing numbers must be just ridiculous and rocket as well with these pulse bombs dude so clutch in the very far, uh, final few moments of every single round it feels like always landing those sticks regardless of uh, them losing the round or not like i mean come on bro like these ending fights are uh, just ridiculous yeah, I mean, uh, a P PG was doing, you know, crazy things on the Sojourn. It felt like every single time he had an overclock or he had, you know, a fully damaged, uh, you know, charged up railgun shot, he was able to land it as uh, they they did uh, as good as a job as you could probably do as, you know, when Rocket's in your back line of surviving. <laughs> uh, but, you know, towards the end, it was just... Uh, you know, those two fights back to back where, you know, students of the game actually had some ultimates going in that second fight, had a pretty big advantage. I mean, that oh, stick there is just silly. I mean, disgusting. Stick. He almost kills the tracer on the, the back half, too. So right. our opponents may doubt us. They may underestimate us, but they do not know the power of a United team. Driven by a common goal, we are not merely students, we are Overwatch players, and we know what it takes to achieve victory. That was an excerpt from Scissors, his speech to the team uh, just before this very series uh, took place. So yeah, pretty rousing speech. That was only a small section of it too. We're not a whole essay, it was pretty sick. Actually. Yeah, pro probably some, uh, you know, uh, let's goes with another word let's thrown go. in there uh, after that you know uh it's it's the the common uh it's just the 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 esport you know you're in the middle of a game and it's a let's go you get a kill let's go you're on the comeback let's go it just it, it's it's just the best uh you know most universal line you can use the hype up uh as we go into midtown uh I, I, so you do have a Riker coming in here for Timeless, so that's a sub, uh, didn't get the cover, but they will be on offense first to kick things off. Uh, we saw Riker in our series the other day, uh, you know, uh, a decent amount. We kind of saw, you know, them kind of going back and forth between Icy and Rikers. Uh, this will be Riker coming in here for Hybrid, uh, looking to play the Orisa, so not going to play anything different. Same things. Yeah, same things here, but yeah, Riker in for... I see, yeah. Interesting stuff. All right. Maybe we want to give we him a little bit of versatility. We also saw Timeless do this the other day, too. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we, we saw Timeless do this with uh, Chopper and Sunjin, right? Where they, you know, they, they had both of them play the Sojourn, and just kind of cycling them in and out. Yeah, got a fresh face. Ended up working out pretty well for them when Riker subbed in, Matt. So uh, we'll see if they can uh, do the same thing that happened in the Toronto Defiant game. High ground control. And a clean cross, mind you, as well, as they're going to now drop onto the point. Hopefully, just flood it and make sure Infected pays for his positioning. Rack attack, though, making it a little bit more difficult, though, on the uh, Lucio, just booping people away. Yeah, I was like, I was like, why are they giving up that high ground? But Rack attack, you know, was able to kind of boop one off to the side. Just kind of putting down some damage. Not really great sight lines for the Sojourn here, right? Like, just kind of sitting inside of this doorway. Uh, just denying this space now as Infected gets quite low. That's all his cooldowns as well. Oh, Infected's one real one that time around. I see a rush in the uh, small room here. Making it a little bit hard for... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. They're making it a little oh. bit hard for students of the game to actually lock down Chopper. The movement speed and the, fire, the rate of fire increase is just ridiculous. Good luck hitting uh, someone in that small room. Timeless. Ooh. Hello, Rack. Goodbye, Rack. Dead before I even hit the pavement. Five minutes uh, in the time. Yeah, I feel like they just give up too much space. They just gave up too much space on the defensive side of things, right? To so just let them get up into that high ground, you know, rather fast and then not really like kind of make them pay for it, right? Where if, you know, Riker's going across with the rest of Timeless and like he has to use a cooldown to do it, like 
you have all your stuff available if you're infected like maybe that's where you make the play right that's kind of like in the you know m80 luminosity series where we saw that kind of uh come into effect all right high ground control at least first students the game here almost a full five ultimates in their bank two with rack a little bit further away the most Time is looking, still looking pretty good. I mean, getting under the low ground here would be rather nice, but a kill on just CJ? Uh, of course it's PG. Who else would it be? Random Rail got across the map, ends up taking care of the Kiriko. So you just get that kill. You Now you back up. You still kind of control this high ground, right? So some uh, pr pretty easy fight win there for students of the game. They don't have to invest anything. Uh, that, that's why Sojourn's on the team, right? Uh, so now you see the spear spin. Now Infected can go, and you can actually make a play for this on the payload. <laughs> Everybody kind of lining up for the collapse. No. Riker with the denial there with the spear spin. Now come the sound barrier. That was almost a uh, Ajax there, but uh, Infected spear a little bit too late. Terra Surge Dragon, everybody in the small room. And whole Chopper and CJ ripped limb from a limb is Infected. Almost baiting them in. It felt like they're timeless. Just get wiped off the face of the map as soon as the game. They get under the hardest point on the second point here. Well, they stopped them there, sorry, as uh, timers have to reset. Only two minutes gone, though, and the payloads moved a considerable distance, at least. Yeah, it's a it's a, a pretty good comeback there, though, from students of the game, right? They kind of, like, try and chase really fast with the overclock, try and make a play, uh, and Timeless does a nice job of kiting it. Out. Look at that. That's this a lot of cooldowns. Knocked down low. It yeah, a like lot of cooldowns. Down down back on top. The back that was a cheeky post bomb there from Rocket, trying to attack people as they were dragged in by the Terror Surge, but Infected already dead. Used everything in his kit to try and stay alive, going back up the stairs, Matt. So Time is able to just roll over them. Soon well, to the game, gonna have to regroup his five. They should get a touch though. Scissors up on the high touch. ground here. Probably gets a touch, but there's gonna be the Katsune Rush on the opposite side. So, I mean, trying to have to contest here, going into the rush, doing a nice job so far. Here. Way yeah, too much and you lose the tank. Yeah, too much healing, too much damage output. I mean, you just lose that if you don't have a rush of your own. Nice, uh, nice uh, use of the TP there from the scissors. Just going back to the old spawn and go into the new one. So now, I mean, students of the game, this is a pretty difficult situation to be in, right? You're not going to be able to kind of like just walk up, take high ground control. So you're not going to be able to get PGE set up in a great spot. Uh, and you're going to be about even in terms of beats. So you're not going to have any type of like advantage going to this next fight to try and stop that payload where there's still a lot of time here for Timeless, right? You know, maybe you end up winning this fight, you get it around that second corner, you get that home stretch. Uh, you're in a great spot to finish the map. Infected getting bullied right now. No spin, no fort fight. Recognize that, have to back all the way up. Infected is so low. One railgun headshot, and surely that's his doom. Luckily, Cal is there to heal them all the way back up. And now PG looks for an angle with that overclock. He spots Chopper high in the sky, easy as you like. Perfect prediction of the trajectory there. And even chasing away CJ, <laughs> the Suzu. Yeah, can't save you, unfortunately. And PGE with a 4K in that fight. I mean, uh, the, when he has the overclock, it feels like, uh, obviously he still has to like aim nail those shots down, right? It's not like attack visor, but it almost feels like it, right? He's able to just connect with a player to every single time. Really kind of keeping students of the game in this one on the defensive side of things is uh, it has not been, you know, pretty for them thus far, but still 220 on the clock. You get a fight win here, you know, you're down, uh, you know, down to about like a you know minute, a little bit more than a minute. And then, you know, last fight territory, you know, maybe two fights there in that situation. So students of the game has the ability to actually prevent this from being a full cap, which uh, you know, with the way Timeless has been running down the map would be uh, pretty it's impressive. Go it's go time for Chopper. Instantly answered with a sound barrier. Still uh, clicks on PGE's head. And now a later sound barrier for time as they do move on forward. Responded by, in turn, by Cal. Using that rush. And that is the Terra Surge dragging everybody back in. Straight into the line of sight of PG once again. Just a backwards and forwards fight. Just determined by ultimates there and how late you can use them. And that Terra Surge, I really like that, Matt. Cal laying down the rush, infected, then dragging everybody back in who was trying to escape from the LOS. Yeah, we've seen that a few times uh, today where the Terra Surge has been used to just kind of corral people. And if you have a Sojourn, just fire a railgun shot at your Orisa and there's going to oh. be some targets there. As a chopper takes out Ragatag. I mean, that is a brutal start here for students of the game. 
really bad. No speed boost too. You're gonna have to back up oh. way earlier than you really want to as well. And now Timus are in a good spot to use their rush to finish out this round. Sis is trying to be a bit annoying in the back lines. Hasn't got the pulse bombs, so can't get an initial kill, but can surely build up to it in just a mere moment. There's the rush. They're gonna try and end it right here, right now. Soon as the game approaching their ultimates, they are gonna need to touch. 1.2 meters to go, as now it is time for Riker to maybe give uh, Infected a little bit of his own medicine with his own ultimates. That Terra Surge doing a little bit of damage there to Infected, but he's still got the Spear Spin to stay alive as PG tries to line up some kills. His overclock went a little bit wide, and that will be students of the game going down. And the very final hurdle is timeless. End up capping with 32 seconds to go. Yeah, and I think the worst part about Rack Attack falling earlier in that fight previously is like you can't you can't take a fight at that corner and try and like bait out the Kitsune rush because you don't have the speed to disengage. So you're forced to like back all the way up. That allows that cart to get around that final corner. Uh, and then great, you have Rack Attack back, but there's nowhere to really disengage to. You kind of have to play uh, within that Kitsune rush that's coming from the opposite side. I know the timeless side of things. So puts Infected in a really tough spot uh, and he is not able to kind of uh, stay alive for long. And as soon as he falls, nobody in position to get a touch That'll be timeless finishing with 32 seconds. So uh, all things considered, I think if you're students of the game, you got to be pretty pleased with how that defense went. Super pleased, yeah. I mean, considering how uh, first point went, yeah, you're, you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty good. Any kind of time here, especially on Midtown, you, you're feeling nice about it. 30 seconds, meh, it's a bit extra. Not over a minute, which kind of sucks, but it can be a tough map to finish, especially how defensible uh, the last spawn is and with the angles that the defenders can play. It's more of a straight line, but they got way more cover to kind of play with. So it's always nice when you're a hit scan, or long range hit scan, Widow, Ash, or Sojourn, or whatever, you can, you can play around those small little corridors. Um, but 30 seconds, not too bad. All right, students of the game, what you've got for us? Rack, I can imagine, just a quick right click. Bit of free ult charge or attempted to. Yeah, there you go. Straight over to Lucio. Same sort of stuff here. We'll see how clean students of the game are on their attack and how, how quickly they can progress onto this point. Yeah, the biggest thing is like, let's watch from, you know, uh, this POV of how infected crosses this gap, right? You know, to see the spear spin, see fortify. Disruptor shot thrown in the choke, gonna make it uh, difficult to kind of pass on through. So uh, you see, you know, he's using way more of just kind of like the natural cover of the map. Actually kind of pushes a little bit towards uh, Timeless there. And uh, that's going to have, you know, Chopper taking out PGE first as this fight is very split. Yeah, Chopper just dropped as well from height and <laughs> hit PG in the, in the head. Rest in peace. Oh, scissors. Wow, that was close. All good, though. I mean, since having this positioning is going to be quite nice. It means someone from Times is always going to have to check him because they can't let him get on the point and start pressuring. So it splits the focus somewhat, but it's kind of where students of the game want to be anyway, as they do end up getting to the point. Still have four to five as infected, so going to be able to back out into the mega health bag room. Ooh. So they take this position as an opener finds this. Yeah. I mean, that is a huge, right? We talked about how he was lurking behind enemy lines. Uh, it's just, you know, the flank are really kind of like opening things up as uh, Infected and Kali kind of like push out of the room now, but back towards that fire truck. So uh, this is going to be a full reset. Yes, yes, yes. Stagger, 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 stagger. Perfect, perfect. Not, I mean, honestly, your thinking is near all anyway. You don't mind giving him an extra like 10, 15%, but those 30 plus seconds almost now, they're gonna have to regroup, get in position once more. That was a nasty stagger there from Timeless. Really well played. Yeah, and I mean, sure, Infect is gonna build up towards that Terra Surge, but at the same time as he's putting down damage, you're just healing it up on your side. So you're just getting, you know, both support alts, right. uh, really. Uh, out of that, so uh, a trade that is uh, extremely favorable for Timeless in terms of the clock and oh, ultimate. Is it'll be both Kitsune rushes used straight away. Oh, Infected is so deep, and CJ is just able to heal everybody up. And now they got high ground advantage too. Pulse bomb lands on both the wrists, and Rocket comes up oh. with another <laughs> double pulse bomb. Uh, dude does not miss. You are being rude. No, I mean, uh, both Pulse Bonds actually end up on the Orisas there. Uh, it's just that uh, those Scissors uh, gets, I believe, Riker pretty low with the Pulse Bomb, and then PGE finishes it off. But 
uh, rocket. I mean, that is a pulse bomb that then, as Infect is walking away, takes out another one. So uh, both teams ending up holding on to their sound barriers to probably counteract both these overclocks coming in. Oh, that was a little bit of an echo action there. Same with the Lucio sound barriers. Both uh, all four arms popped here almost exactly the same time as each other. All good. In fact, it's super low, though, on the cross again, Matt. Really rough uh, time for students of the game right now. They cannot cross. It, it feels almost impossible. This is why you challenge this position, right? Uh, on the opposite side, we didn't see students of the game challenge this. They allowed them to just cross, and they were able to kind of take this point easy. When you challenge this position, you see what you can do. It's uh, infected so low. Him help me, infected. Oh, Rocket here in the recall. No scissors is pretty low, but scissors has backup. Rocket still being annoying though, and that's the best thing you can be as a tracer, right? Just make it hard for these rotations to happen. Scissors joins the rest of the team. Here's the two tick mark. Okay, as time is trying to make their entrance again, starting off with a rush. Rocket in the back. He's still got the pulse in hand, lands the stick, but he dies to his own pulse. Oh, sticks the Arissa, a decent target, but oh. <laughs> by his own hubris ends up going down. Timeless now in a 4v4, as Scissors ends up falling too. A bit more of an even fight now, but there's just sheer firepower on the point as Cal laid down the road. And two minutes and 30 seconds to go now for students of the game as they cap point A. I mean, hey, honestly, Rocket, don't worry about it, mate. You've had so many clips so far, we'll let that one slide. Yeah, the pulse bomb is good. Uh, he just recalls directly into infected standing, you know, pretty much on top of his body. So he ends up just blowing himself up uh, with his. And uh, infected takes a little bit of damage. Here is uh, PG trying to set up. And well, the amount of damage that PG put down that last play, right? We saw basically both overclocks come out at the same time. He's back at 90%. I mean, uh, you know, comes up with like three final blows there during that, uh, you know, fight to take the point. As it might be a little bit surprising that he already has it. Oh, is he dicing with him? He is. Both Sojans have a fully charged railgun there. Oh, that was a really weird position there from Rack. Did get sucked up into that terror surge, but didn't end up uh, going down. Riker, on the other hand, just... Yeah, this sound barrier is just a little bit too good, and PG with some additional damage on top of that one. And, and he doesn't even need to use the overclock, right? I mean, he still holds on to that overclock, so... You come into the next fight, uh, obviously no sound barrier here for Timeless. That's a you know, huge win for students of the game. Uh, you have PG set up here on the high ground with that overclock and with the way he's been shooting, you figure it gives you at least a player advantage. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that that's a, pretty good. That's a spear that actually connects at him from range and then Chopper follows it up with a shot. They're trying to go again here, but students of the game are gonna have a bit of a hard time doing so. Some of these kills are getting pretty staggered too, although although saying that, Scissors does manage to get out. A kill onto CJ is nice, but a very, very quick teleport. Even with the Lucio speed, you're going to get back. Last final fight here for students of the game. Two DPS ults. I mean, Scissors has to go nuclear here on the back line. Yeah, it looks like he's just kind of lurking, maybe trying to get a touch here. Uh, it looks like he got stunned, at least from the top UI, so had to use the recall as he actually yeah, did get hit with a spear. So gonna try and set this up again. Infected did use the terror surge there. I uh, feel like maybe just trying to draw out an ultimate, but they're gonna try and build up Cal's Kitsune rush. Answer what CJ has on the opposite side. Truff is for Scissors 2, needs to get value with the pulse bomb, which means Infected has to get onto the points. Although you don't mind being there right now if you're uh, infected. Oh, Scissors is already down. Where's the pulse? No one to be found anymore. PG in a little bit of trouble as Cal and CJ both pull the Kutsune rush. And now PG ascends to the skies and tries to take a decent angle onto Timeless. But I mean, Timeless' spawns are just so close. Even though, even if they end up going down, it might not even matter. But with Infected falling here, even the trade on to open areas to help. Mary attempt from students the game now. Scissors comes back with a pulse bomb and takes down Riker. It's evening up a little bit closer now. It's timeless. They're going to fall as PG takes down CJ by the skin of their teeth. They managed to make it work. And a minute and 30 seconds to go. You're only going to get a couple of fights here if that, Matt. No way you're finishing with time here. It's going to be uh, overtime or bust. It is that uh, sound barrier that comes in from Rack Attack that ends up keeping the damage dealers alive even after losing Infected. Uh, and that is the difference there. As one player gets quite low. That's Chopper is uh, not able to find the shot to finish him off as that opener gets quite low as well. So some cooldowns to use here. 
uh, students of the game even match this time basically needs to just get two flawless fights really fast so just a, a dps game right now it's felt like that since map number one rocket in a decent position just trying to get as much damage as he can down on to the enemy Arissa, but it's Riker that falls first at PGE's hands. Oh, that was close to a double kill for uh, since the uh, game. Opener. That's not good. They got to go needs fast. To live here. I mean, you you back out and don't invest the sound barrier to keep Riker because you feel like you can get a good value out of it here at the end. I mean, this has to be a good beat. Well, there's the sand barrier to match that overclock. Matt as opener tries to find a, a nice little boop into the line of sight to help Chopper rock up. Rocker set up for a kill. Terra Surge on the point. There's the pulse from Scissors. Takes down Chopper. Terra Surge is good for some damage on Rack, but that's just about it. And Infected has so many cooldowns, though. It just runs through Timeless. Scissors picks up his third of the fight. Make that four. A minute to go for students of the game. Getting the cap is all that they needed, and they achieved in that. 1 minute and 30, uh, 32 for Timeless here. A close affair on Midtown. Yeah, and I think if you're students of the game, like on your on your defense, you cannot allow them to just cross for free. Uh, that was really kind of the difference, you know, between these two teams on their first point defense. Uh, and really with a minute, a minute 32, you probably only expect to see first point, right? Uh, you do not expect this to go uh, much further than that here on Midtown. So students of the game they clutch up they give themselves a chance i think the scary part with like this meta right is like how much damage your arisa could take in terms of a burst right things kind of just topple over uh we are now on defense uh, you're really looking at how timeless place this do do they allow them to cross and then just kind of dwindle the clock and you know really pressure them from both sides or do they continue to hold this high ground position here and make a very difficult uninfected to stay alive yeah, no changes in the compositions here. No, no real shock, but yeah, it does all come down to the defense. Uh, it'd be crazy I mean, to change at this point. Yeah, exactly. I do. I mean, the clutch factor from Rocket, we've seen it even in control, always landing clutch pulse bombs at the very end of fights. One of the most clutch traces we've seen in North America. And one of the hottest prospects as well. No little Widow Peak. They didn't see anybody, so just a straight over to the tracer. And now their minute commences. Uh, still look from the high ground there. I mean, a minute you have what? Two fights at best? Not a lot of time for students of the game to work with here. Sisus is kind of taking this off angle. Infected. Spear spin up there on the Infected high ground. Just trying to knock players HP. back. Nice little dueling on the point. Rocket does force the recall of Scissors. A little bit more support, though, for Scissors as Rocket is more on an island here, especially when he pushes past yeah, Riker's his fire won. engine. Riker is pretty low. They Same with Chopper. This. Chopper's one HP in the train. You've got to start pressure and point as well. It's a really bad spot for Timeless to be in. They're all huddled up here, and yeah, it was only a matter of time before Chopper went down as this is into students of the game for this last few moments. I'm under rest. 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 Three, two, I kill rest. Kill rest. Kill rest. Feared rest. I'm one. No spin. Yeah. Up your speaker now. You got that. We need to push the back time. We push security. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. I'm on the right side. I'm on the right side. I'm on the right side. I'm zoning. I'm zoning. Oh, no. All I saw. All I saw. All I saw. I'm coming. I'm coming. Scissors. I'm coming. Who's just here? Who's just here then? Nice. That's fine. That's fine. No, that's fine. Secure. Just secure. Just secure. Okay, I'm loving point. I'm loving point. What did they have? You have so many okay. fighters. Nice fucking pick, scissors. They probably have everything. They, I'm going to be honest, they probably have everything. They have not used the pillow. Nice pick, scissors. Let's go. Scissors really clapping at the very end there. That was uh, really nice. Holding down yeah, the point. That's not what he said. What did he say? No, nah, he said that, bro. He said that. He said that. <laughs> you only get one, bro. I'm not using my one this early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I I never used my one, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, it was two years ago, bro. Okay, just leave it. Just leave it. Three years ago, actually. Uh, I mean, look at this, though. I mean, we talk about how difficult this is to take. This is going to be Kitsune Rush from the high ground. Rack Attack has the opportunity here to use his beat to kind of counter it. I mean, students of the game is not out of, like, moving this even further. That Pulse Bomb did zero damage. PG just trying to clear out the back lines right now. Takes that high ground. He's got a decent line on to Chopper there, who's carrying behind that taxi, but with Infected dead, there's no point presence at all for students of the game. They're just merely trickling on it and having to deal with Riker in the Gulag. There you go.
That's where the payloads will stop. Just on that lip there of going into the underground passage. Decent, though. I mean, look, you cap in that point with a minute, you take that. Yeah, and I mean, what, what allowed them to get that first point was uh, they get Riker low, they all back up like into the subway car, uh, and then they actually get uh, Infected Lance a spear on a chopper and gets him really low. Spear spin comes out like straight away uh, from Riker and they just kind of like delay a little bit students of the game. They maybe like hold for like two seconds, three seconds. Uh, and then now you're running right in. There's no Suzu, you, there's no Suzu on the other side. There's no spear spin. Uh, you have the, you know, the healing of the Kuriko just kind of split between the Orisa and the Sojourn. Uh, and you're able to find those picks. Uh, I also want to say uh, it's a huge play from Scissors because everybody is fighting up there on the subway and they are an OT. Uh, so if he dies, uh, they over. don't cap the point, yes. right? Yeah, it, it's kind of over. That's why he's like calming to the rest of the team. Like s somebody for, for somebody the love, just get me. over here and help me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, you know, he's fighting two on the point, just trying to live uh, <laughs> where, where if he dies, I mean, it is over. Yeah, I learned that from, from from Jake. He was just like, just scream help. Uh, the healers have to pay attention to you at some point, which is true. I, I mainly support. I'm very familiar with that. Even when they're missing one HP, the tracers need help. I'm not always going to be there, okay? I got my own stuff to deal with. But uh, no, Scissors definitely needed help, and help he got, and they managed to uh, take the point. One minute and 20 seconds to go here on the rotation for Timeless. Very different approach here, just taking the back alley streets first. Waiting for that amp speed to try and cross. Nice disruption shot, though. A lot of damage inflicted in the front line. Open and taking a lot, too. He's actually the first to enter the mega health back room. Doesn't want to let anybody in, but has already used that boot. Nice little uh, fortify there from Infected. Actually cuts off the rest of the team there. As Chopper and CJ just without their tank and without any support. But still, of course, who's in the kill? Fitness Rocket. Rocket still kills three. I'm sorry. Rocket kills four. What? I mean, they use a great disruptor shot there from PGE to split some players off, and they they actually are in a great wow. spot. And it absolutely does not matter uh, as Rocket just goes through anyway. Kills four, 30 seconds here. So you have a little bit of a delay with like this gate opening. Uh, I know that happens. Uh, so we're still in final fight territory. Like even with students of the game losing that in that fashion, uh, still with an opportunity to win one fight and have high ground advantage. Uh, to win map number two. He might just be the best player to ever live. Prof would have something to say about that, to be fair, but geez, Rocket is putting in the work right now. 83% hey, towards that pulse, too. I mean, taking uh, the flank route wouldn't be so bad. Can't C9 now. Infected is going to be there to check. Oh, and he dips scissors as well on the flank. One person down, pulse bomb in hand. Rocket, the clutch master 9000, might be able to just get in there. A little pulse, a Suzu, but the damage actually went through. Infected gets completely chunked out. It's got the spearsman, but is in desperate need of healing. But Cal can't quite give enough. Hakal tries to trade it up in the back line, but it doesn't matter. When you've got Rocket on your team, anything is possible as Timeless take the map. Uh, I mean, he, he just goes crazy in like OT, right? Uh, four kills uh, to get that first checkpoint. And then after that, uh, I know a big tracer duel on the side with scissors. He had already used recall. And uh, I mean, he just takes him out at that point. And once, takes him out. Once Matt, he's he over there, clapped like, those cheeks, yeah. bro. Like well, he was well, in there, he well, forces his recall, <laughs> gets in, just starts like Wendy's just out of the back, just going at him. Bro, this well, guy is he's a in there, though. And he's unchecked on that side. I mean, you're just, it's over, right? I mean, Infected is just getting drilled from the side by the Tracer and uh, it, it is just a, a really tough situation. Yeah. I mean, students of the game even just battled back to get it to OT to make it that close. Uh, gave themselves a chance to win it, but I mean, Rocket just too good in the end. He's just too good. He's too strong. Someone please nerf him. Personally, just nerf his character because that is just absurd. Crazy. I mean, even um, even on that uh, first push to the point, right, where Infected blocked off the rest of the team, they split the team in half and uh, Rocket still came up with kills. I thought that was a fantastic buy by Infected there, stopping a lot of that Kiriko healing coming through and like helping uh, opener. But I mean, Rocket just takes the game into his own hands once again.
I mean, this map was full of highlight reels for, for a lot of players and an extremely close one too. A very close affair thus far with both teams finishing with time in the, oh, sorry, only time is finishing with time in the bank, uh, but it was a minute for students the game. God, you, you just got to find a way to shut out Rocket right now because the guy is on a, on a heater. I mean, I just don't, I just don't know if there's a way. Uh, we we no. saw kind of the same things against the Toronto Defiant, uh, right? I right. mean, uh, it's not, uh, I, I don't think this is a, you know, uh, a, an isolated incident to this game. I think this is going to be a reoccurring incident uh, <laughs> in NA throughout the year as uh, you know, Rocket. I mean, this is why everybody was so, like, excited about both of these teams, right? Uh, you know, Timeless and Students of the Game. Uh, both of these teams have so much young NA talent. Uh, I know something we've you know seen, whether it be like Pro Am or Overwatch League before, but uh, you know now really I think kind of taking their games to another level here. Uh, you know in the OWCS and uh, look, we saw the other day how close Timeless Toronto Defiant was. Like students of the game making the, a case that they can contend with a team like that as well. Yeah, they're messing with the best right now, and they aren't afraid. Pretty even stats across the board. To be honest with you, pretty close game. So you're expecting that. Nice little 69k damage for time. 72 for uh, students of the game. Yeah, same healing. The healing done, damage mitigation. It's pretty close and uh, this kind of just paints it. We are going to Coliseo next, Matt. Same comp, so I don't think there's any way we see anything different. I'm curious if Timeless now, they're going to sub once again because they, they've been doing it throughout the series. They Even once during the Toronto game, they subbed out Rocket. So... It's going to be a, a bit of an well, interesting one going into this next map. They, they subbed out Rocket because they wanted to bring Chopper in, uh, you know, with uh, with Sojourn to play the right. Genji, right? To kind of, uh, you know, do that. And then also they've kind of like had Icy and Riker. So uh, they swap in Icy here uh, for Riker. We've seen both of them just play the Orisa here uh, today thus far. So uh, maybe there's a, you know, another tank option that like, hey, if we need to go to this, we want, you know, this player in the game. So. Uh, Icy will get some run here. Yeah, I'm uh, curious if it's going to be the Orisa, but um, or it could be something a little bit more slow like the Sig. But yeah, you're going to play Orisa differently to your uh, counterpart on the bench. So, you know, there's always uh, something to kind of change up. And as soon as the game clearly thrown off maybe a little bit of uh, during Midtown after all these substitutions. So we'll see if that can kind of continue. No substitutions, of course, for students of the game. Just stick with the same old five. Yeah, no, you know, they should really start mandating when you submit a hero for your, you know, card here, you have to play them at least once, right? Oh, PG um, sure, and the hog. <laughs> sure they would submit, sure they would submit something different if they had to play Ilari Lifeweaver at one point uh, together. <laughs> that would probably be... No, uh, probably. No. Yeah, you get, you'd get that one out of the way in the Swiss stage. Oh, you'd, the Ilari game? Get yeah, that one out in, <laughs> the the the, the Alari Life Weaver. Although we did see, uh, I believe we saw uh, Ragtag play the Life Weaver now uh, in the past. Yeah, we have. That. Uh, he was the the the, the one non coward who played Life Weaver. The one non coward. Uh, it, do you know what was really funny? It was actually he was making that work. He was actually making it work towards the end yeah. of uh, the Overwatch League last year. There was, was like a moment where people thought it was a thing. They yeah. were like, "Wait, is this going to be like uh like something that happens? Like people are going to play Life Weaver and then." Everybody was like, no, no, it's not. Uh, you know, maybe maybe they just use it a little oh, bit. A uh, and then it's not that good. <laughs> Chill. I want to see Alari uh, in the meta. I think that'd be very fun. I think Alari's a uh, really, really, a really sick hero, but the healing pylon. Man, just relying on the healing pylon kind of sucks for the heals. But, you know, maybe later down the line, Alari gets uh, not reworked. But what about Life Weaver? Nah. Big tree. What about all the Weaver mains out there? Uh, Big just tree. For you know what? Big just pole. for Rack. I'd be fine with that. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be fun to see some, uh, you know, Life Weaver in play. The way they should change Life Weaver is his gun, go. his gun, like the needles. Uh, it should work like the Needler from Halo, where after you hit like <laughs> three shots, it just, the player just explodes. <laughs> it just detonates uh, and does splash damage. That there would you go. be a sick that experimental. You know, sometimes they do the experimental cues. They should 100% do that. Yeah. So it's like the Needler from Halo. That would be sick. Like a few shots and he just like, you know, bursts in some damage or yeah. something. There you go, some free ideas. Hey, next experimental cards. Free ideas. Where is that? Uh, there you go. Throw that all, in, yeah. all the life weaver, all three life weaver mains can hit my PayPal. Uh, you know, <laughs> trying to trying to help you guys out. <laughs> Rack's one of them, bro. You ain't hitting your PayPal, that's for sure.
Timeless versus uh, soon as the no, game. No, no, no. Looks like we're going to load in Colosseo. Our push map uh, is up next. Look. This can go either way, Matt. And I know I said the first series, uh, the Luminosity series would be a close game, but you, this will you've be. You've said that every series. You've said every series, this That's could go true. either way. That's and so true. They, they have not looked that way. This one though, you got a case. It's 1-1. One, one. We've seen somebody win a map, uh, you know, against yeah. an opponent today, not just kind of clean sweep. So uh, uh, this one does feel like it's going to last a little bit. Uh, <laughs> even Midtown, right? Yippee. Uh, Midtown feels like, uh, it feels like, you know, uh, that one could have gone either way. You know, map number one could have gone either way. Uh, Coliseo, uh, I feel like we're going to be looking at Chopper and PGE, right, on the Sojourns, like controlling where that bot uh, spawns, you know, who can hit those, you know, railgun shots to really open up the rest of the team. I'm still waiting for a Ryan skin like that. Just like a gladiator. Oh, though that like kind of looks like oh. Sigma. Like with the shoulder pad, it's like uh, segmented slightly. But yeah, it's Ryan with like a giant. But like you think that looks like Sigma? No, just the shoulder pad. Just the shoulder pad. It looks like Sigma is like segmented. But I want Ryan with a giant sword, like a claymore. I think that would be kind of wicked. Do they have that Diablo skin where he's got a big sword? Isn't that just a big axe? I feel like Ryan's got like three or four like sword skins. Are you sure? When was the last time you played Ryan? You know, you, you know what they need? They need a skin where they just turn Ryan's hammer into just a big fish. Like that a, would be just wicked. He just swings a massive fish. That would be sick. Wait, wait a second. He's cooking again. Wait, Matt, you coming up with some nice ideas today, actually. Yeah, yeah I'm on fire today. Uh, you know, my, my player card would have the blue flames around it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Damn, that's crazy. References are going, uh, going well as well for you, Matt. Good job. Good job. All right. Uh, you know, so somebody's got to, you know, keep keep uh, the, the Mitch Leslie uh, flame on, you know, the, 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 the light. Okay, okay. you going, missed with right? that one. You were cooking and then you missed with that one, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. Mitch, would, uh, Mitch wouldn't be impressed. No, no, no. He right. would be. He'd be very impressed. Uh, he's he's even texted me and said he's been very impressed. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I don't. I need to see uh, actual evidence of that because I don't think that's uh, correct at all. Classic mid-fight Colosseo, no, by the way. He texted me about some card thing and I, I pretended I knew what he was talking about. <laughs> um, just as a, a small throwback, Matt, when me and you cast it together, do you remember the uh, a kill not happening for like two and a half minutes? And then you called it perfectly. Uh, yes. Yes. That's happening right now in front of our eyes. <laughs> it's been one and a half minutes waiting for a soldier to find a headshot. Well, because this map, this map, like it, it's so, like it's so punishing when you lose the first fight because you're pushing to that high ground. Yes. That nobody wants to like even risk losing the first fight. So you kind of get into this like, oh, we'll move the bot up. And then oh, look, they're gonna like walk backwards and like move the bot the other way, right? Like the eternal. Uh, we're now students of the game looks like There's they the pushed up a little bit and you know, oh, down. Oh, here you go both okay. traces gone i was one minute and 56 seconds for those of you that were keeping count suzu's coming in and uh, yeah very fast kitsune rushes all the damage that was taken early on both dps dead for students of the game of course this is uh, going to join them in just a moment early beat here from opener rack attack's not far away though with one percent to go he's going to need to use it soon is infected eventually gets saved by that over health as Scissors rejoins the party and slays CJ. So you know what you don't see as many of those like three you know, minute just kind of like stalls here is uh, this is going to be what, what a, is uh, happening a, a terror surge there. It was like a it's like an icy fadeaway terror surge that they catch uh, nobody there. But the reason you see the fights go like not as long is because if you remember, you know, at those times, uh, the Sojourn like wasn't really that good. So a lot of teams were playing Hanzo and Hanzo had the ability for like one shotting. Uh, so nobody poked out. Uh, it was just kind of like both Hanzos just like kind of dueling each other on the side until one of them killed each other. And then we started to see a push. But the Sojourns need to kind of play a little bit more active to actually get the one shots, right? So that's where you see teams play a little bit more offensive. What a spear. Yeah, this is a little bit rough here. PG, not with the best angles in the world. 
as everybody had to kind of po uh, peek him. I see a double kill from CJ in the end as the bot moves yet again on the other side. Quite rough though for students of the game. Rack attack is spawning right now, so he will be able to uh, at least escort Cal and PG, but I mean, the setup on the high ground for Chopper has to be dislodged. We're like almost four minutes into this one. Yeah, it's pretty uh, sick. It f feels like we, we haven't really kind of got much here. So it'll be Timeless taking the lead. So uh, Chopper trying to kind of hold this high ground here, right? Uh, you know, that's kind of the spot where now it's difficult, right? You don't want to be on this low ground kind of fighting into, you know, potentially the Sojourn up on the high where Chopper will end up falling at the hands of PGE. As Rocket was in the back line putting pressure on the supports, they just uh, couldn't give him enough time. Nice early heals there, thrown out by Cal. Oh, that was nice. It was uh, one of the most satisfying things with uh, Kiriko landing headshots like that. Good stuff, all right. Flipped around now, students in the game in control of the bots. And yeah, I, I believe Aaron Keller said they were looking at Colosseo, so that's always a good thing. Maybe the mid fights won't be as long uh, later down the line. Yeah, maybe if you shorten that area up, get rid of the glass, Remove and make it glass. a little bit shorter there, a little bit shorter of a run. Remove the glass. Someone had to say it. I wanted it to be you. All right, both uh, teams have double support ultimate now. Pulse bombs in the hands of Rocket and Scissors. Scissors vibing on the sidelines. They do know, they are aware. So he's going to have to back off. I mean, with how long these fights go, I mean, oh, that's a huge kill. I was with how long these fights go, right? Like, you know, you're going to get, like, three minutes on the clock and basically be, like, a tie game. Yeah, quite easily. Both against Sunni Rush is used basically on top of each other. Chopper needs to help the rest of his team. Good sound barrier from Open. Oh, the post one right on top of him, though. Both, oh, they're both terror surging on top. What was that? What did I just <laughs> witness? All right, Rocket's back. Lands and bombs on rack. That was uh, absurd. Both of them look like they were going to take off into the into space with that much uh, spinning power. All right, infected, moving the box. And there we go. The overclock should seal the deal with PG picking up two. But Matt, unfortunately, they can't push that far because the spawns are a little bit too close and the fight wasn't decisive. They get the lead, though. That's true. They get the lead. I mean, considering about how long these fights go, right? Uh, getting the lead, you know, they don't actually kind of like give up that corner. They're kind of like still kind of playing with some pressure around it. So uh, it's still, it's only going to be one fight for Timeless to basically take the lead back, right? Three meters separates these teams. It's just going to be a drawn out one. Here we go. The long mid fight. Should be too much longer though. Especially with this overclock from Chopper. Mainly just hitting those body shots on Infected, but the damage is there. The damage is there. No healing can save you from that, unfortunately. Cal takes a body shot. They managed to teleport away just in time. It's now the bot and uh, the timeless should be able to get lead. Yes, there you go. No touches. There's a Cal just takes. All right, takes oh, manage into their own hands. Double headshot, double kill. Open a rocket down. Now Chopper wants to, uh, wants something, something. But Cal teleports away. Yeah, but that's huge. It's gonna like deny any more progress there for timeless. So Cal goes massive. They end up picking up two huge kills. Kind of pushes them back a little bit here towards mid map as a. Uh, Three minutes on the clock. Kitsune rushes for both sides, pulse bombs as well. As you know, if you're ideally, you want to kind of like maybe save this Kitsune rush, like where you get closer around that corner, but you get a few players low. Now it's time to go. Bombs ticket. Does land on Infected, but Infected shrugs it off and gets a kill onto Chopper. Oh, Terra Surge. Rocket ran straight into that one. Good stick from Scissors. Doesn't succumb to his own pulse bomb, though, as he hits the recoil just in time. Another fight won by students of the game. This is, man, I'm getting flashbacks to, uh, what, control? One, you win one fight, we win the next. You win one fight, we win the next. But the further this bot goes, Matt, and the how f how clear... Oh, that was a clean kill on Rocket. Well, how far these uh, I mean, that bots is are pushing. Enormous. They, they might be able to get the lead, but they can't get much more, I wouldn't imagine, as the entirety of Timeless now just descending on it. So they back up here, students of the game. They get the lead, they back up. Looks like they're going to try and go fight back here for mid-map as uh, PGE does have this overclock to use as a uh, chopper, not with that overclock just yet. All right, Scissor's always playing sneaky-beaky, like. 
CGA's the target, there's the beat. Now Scissors has to play a little bit more safe, just chunking away at that overhealth. Here's the recall as he receives the sand barrier. Not the best timing in the world, but he can still sustain through a lot of incoming damage now. Problem is, Rocket is doing just about as much as Scissors is right now. As Scissors comes up with one coming to Icy, but it's Infected. That turns this course of the fight, killing Chopper. CJ in trouble, a nice spear landing from Infected. And yes, it, it's that time again. It's students of the game's time to win a team fight and for them to push the bot. A minute to go here, Matt. 47 meters to 46, maybe an extra meter or two. Spawns are coming in quickly, though, for Timeless. Yeah, we've talked a lot about the damage dealers on both sides, but you know, Infected being able to cycle those Orisa cooldowns and then both supports the students of the game being able to keep him up through a lot of that damage. I mean, he is the focal point that they are really kind of trying to punish. It's huge there for students of the game is below a minute. Slightly, but they have a big ult advantage. Kutsune Rush used Ghost Bomb thrown out by Scissors. Yeah, the Suzu was gone, but no stick. But there'll be a stick for a Rocket there. As Infected was in Terra Surge and immediately, as soon as he came out, Terra Surge, that uh, extra sustainability you get from it just fades away and that Pulse Bomb does maximum damage. As time is to end up winning that fight, 30 seconds to go, Matt, and there's only 0.95 meters in this. Yeah, and is, is the bot going to be fast enough to get to the barrier and just give them the lead, right? Like, it's not a huge You can edge stall. Margin. You can edge stall. 100%. Yeah, from where that is, you can actually just sit on top where Infected is and contest. So it looks like they're going to back up just a little bit. Is now Icy going to get on and get touch? And to Permatouch now, of course, in OT. They just got to shoot Icy. Oh, that's a good spear. Suzu already used from CJ. Scissors and PGs, it's their time to strike now. Look for the opening and execute on it. Scissors checking Rocket, goes to the mini. Heals himself back up as the beat comes through for Timeless. Rack attack 10% away. The lead in Timeless's sights as PGs down. Little damage that they have now as Scissors the only one up. But this sound barrier should see them through this fight. Later B almost always wins as the terror surge comes in and kills Cal. But Scissors still miraculously getting kills with these pulse bombs but no the point can't be touched and that will be it timeless with match point now two to one as they take coliseo yeah it's not, uh, the kill on to pg early on from chopper i mean so big. even with the later beat right you just don't have that extra damage from the sojourn in the fight to really kind of push you over the line so uh, these teams are so evenly matched. Uh, you no, know, right there. Well, we're decided by probably less than a meter, I think. You know, in terms of like the score of where we see this push decide these teams uh, on Coliseo. Not a lot of action. Uh, I know the action is just kind of uh, you know pr pretty sporadic throughout it. Is a lot of teams just kind of playing for positioning on Coliseo, uh, but still it comes down to the very very near end. Yeah, I mean, that was as close as it could really be on that map, like point. It was under a meter, right? Yeah. And every single time, it's like, we win one fight, you win the next. We win one fight, you win the next. And almost took two minutes to find the first kill. But that's just how Coliseo ends up playing out. If you end up winning that preceding fight, especially as you're like halfway through the game and you push it under the bridge, that's when the balance really tips in your favor. Even if you don't get the checkpoint, as soon as you get it under the bridge where they can't perma stall, it can be tough to come back from there. But um, yeah, I mean, both Tracers doing a fantastic job once again. And man, it is so hard to stay alive as I see an infected. There were some nice terror surges here, Matt, but it just left them open more often than not just to get pumped full of damage. Yeah, and uh, you know you see like some of the you know highlights from this, right? A lot of nice plays from Cal uh, in a you know a losing effort uh, through this, right? Oh, yeah. They were able to come up with uh, like some huge kills time and time again. Uh, really, I mean, just you know when these fights kick off, uh, you know the players just kind of you know kind of go in all different directions. It feels like uh, you know there's a double kill from Rocket, and then on the other side, he's like you know, Scissors picking up a kill, and then all of a sudden two kills come out from Affected out of nowhere. Uh, here's kind of the final fight, right? The late sound barrier here, but if you see at the top of the screen, right, PGE still in the death screen. So uh, even with, you know, the pulse bomb there at the end, it's still just not enough damage uh, to be able to kind of live on through that. So taking a look at some of the stats, uh, See, I mean, look at this. I mean, damage, what, 2K difference, damage mitigated 1K and then 1K there in terms of the yeah, healing. So I mean, that this series, uh, you know, I, I just kind of like throw KD out the window in Overwatch, not really like, kind of like COD, but 
in terms of all the other stats, I mean, these two teams throughout this series have basically been, you know, a, a mirror image of each other. Soon to the game in Timeless, this is one of the closest games we've had over the last couple of days, it feels like. Just back and forth all over the place. Loser's bracket too. It's going to be scrappy, but uh, I didn't expect it to be this scrappy. And it's good to see everybody's having uh, lights out and standout performances as well, which is really cool. A lot of highlight reels being made. <laughs> I mean, you know, everybody I feel like has had moments, you know, throughout this series. Uh, you know, sometimes when you have a really close series in Overwatch, it feels like maybe, you know, the everybody's kind of playing at even. And then, you know, there's just two players just doing crazy stuff in the server and everybody's kind of like just there for the ride. But uh, this one is everybody has had some crazy moments. I see as well for Timeless in the tank role. No DPS swaps here at all. Not seeing Sunjun or anything. Who was he ended up seeing on uh, New Jack City the other day, I believe? Students of the game still rocking the same five. Orisa Comps is going to be the same throughout this uh, entire rest of the series. And here we go, mid flashpoint. See how quick this fight <laughs> starts out, Matt. It's going to be a little quicker than Colosseo, I can guarantee you. I, I mean, uh, if, if it's not faster than Colosseo, somebody's DC'd <laughs> from the game. Uh, Surely that would make it quick, is then you just run them down. Just be dishonorable. Uh, both teams, though, like, don't want to exactly engage with each other because they just don't want to give free damage to the soldiers to, like, build up a rail, right? Yeah. As, uh, you know, PG85 uh, to his. They don't really have a, a great sense of choppers, but both teams want to just have, like, their tracers kind of play point uh, and then have, allow the soldiers oh, right. to try and farm up. Nice Suzu there from Cal saving Rack's life. Point goes over to Timeless, I see in trouble. Yeah, you saw, I knew they made a mistake there. Blown all the cooldowns, just looking at the floor, trying to spin, trying to move that head hit box as fast as they possibly can. Try and avoid all that damage. As soon as the game with a very quick flip, 16% only gained for Timeless. Big reset for uh, them now as well. Although they don't have to back up too far. Playing it a little bit risky, especially against a Lucio, but a lot of movement cooldowns are invested there. Maybe a few too many as Chopper Almost gets descended upon after using that power slide. Look speaking of which, Icy gets basically down to the. I mean, Icy's like below 40% HP before they even get on the point. Jeez, yeah, I mean, they were trying to uh, wrap to help the rest of their team too. Good final kill there as well. That will uh, cost them an extra 10% or so. It's still touchable for Timeless, especially with a Pulse Bomb. I saw that Pulse Bomb from Scissors did end up landing on the floor, but still managed to find a kill. So now, what, Timeless, maybe one more fight here on this point. Double support ults in the mix. Probably just going to have about everything. It looks like they go low ground, but you see just uh, even Chopper coming out takes a ton of damage. <laughs> yeah, I... It's very much an arena, a coliseum, all the spectators watching. They're not throwing tomatoes, they're throwing bullets and shrapnel at you, unfortunately. Although, as soon as the game, let the point go. 99% now, and time is building up towards theirs. 27% and counting, Infector goes in with a Terra Surge. In trouble, though. Trouble almost got booped out of LOS, but a couple of pixels to spare. He manages to snipe Infected. A free cap halfway through that point. That is not one you want to see uh, if you are uh, students of the game there. You don't want to give up that no. early. No, not at all. I mean, pretty difficult shot for Chopper to hit. Just basically look straight down and take out Infected, but Timeless kind of like bullies them off of the high ground, takes them away from the point. And now you're in kind of like final fight territory for students of the game. Don't exactly have, uh, you know, a support alt here to get here. Chopper is going to use this overclock quite early. Oh. Beautiful Suzu from CJ, saving Opener's life there from the Pulse Bomb from Scissors. Are they going to be able to push back in? I think there's one person down there. Yep, it is Scissors. They do get the touch. They cause OT. And now from the high ground, PG just trying to click some heads. CJ making it a little bit more difficult, though, getting up in his face, but a quick slide to a different angle. And now I see nowhere to be found. We're shooting back, but couldn't quite get the kill. There's the flip for students of the game. Pixel perfect precision there. Nice rotation from, from them too. Thomas had ults. They could have run that down, but you know, they end up giving it over and as soon as the game end up capping first. Yeah, I mean, a uh, huge, like we talk about like the sojourn and the amount of damage you can kind of like put down, right? And you know, the kills. 
Uh, but you saw there like a, a few shots from PG on the different players and scissors like following up is just as good as the Sojourn being able to just kind of click those heads. It uh, looks like students of the game try and opt to take some of this high ground here to the side as they probably have an idea that they're at a little bit of ultimate disadvantage. Yeah, both teams are probably just going to saddle up for a Katsune rush, I'd imagine. Head taking a lot of damage. It's a good position for Rocket here, but doesn't want to mess with the front line now, especially as they've got the rush. But then so do students of the game. Oh, that's a lot of damage on the icy. He's in trouble. But Kao's in even deeper trouble. A sound barrier to try and see students game through this fight as Kal ends up falling over. The time is just handily taking it to him. Losing Cal that early, you just cannot let that happen. It can be tough sometimes, especially when you are against such a menace like Rockets. And even CJ as well, just flinging the kunais across the map. and it could be a real death sentence. Are these students of the game get 30% though, Matt? Yeah, I mean, the 30% the though is going to be negated pretty quick, right? The flashpoints tick up so fast that uh, you know, you're know you going to be about even or maybe even in the lead for Timeless when the next fight kicks off as uh, Infected and Co. I'm going to take like, a little bit of a different angle, right? Usually we just see both teams just slam their faces in the choke there, but, uh, you know, Ops goes for the high ground, backs Timeless up a bit. Oh, good spear. Oh, was that uh, environmental? Was that off the map or was that just a pin to the wall? I'm not entirely sure. There's the Terra Surge. Wow. Open is making Scissor's life a living hell. Trying to get into the back line, but open a perma boop in the way. Nice kill onto Icy as well, as uh, Rocket with the Pulse Bomb could try and even it up, but decides against it. One fight now for Timer, 72% and then some, and a little stagger on opener there. Cost them a little bit, but uh, as yeah, well, especially on massive. Flashpoint, it's nothing massive, but still an extra couple of percent. Yeah, as students of the game, they take that high ground, and a few players get weak straight away. I think it's like CJ and Chopper both take like tons of damage. They have to use the Suzu just sitting around like a corner. Uh, and they're ever, never able to really kind of regain from that as uh, it, it's really interesting students of the game, right? Taking that position on the opposite side, you usually see people take this high ground very close to the point, but on that opposite side, playing from that is going to be PGE using the overclock here at the start. I mean, Chopper got rolled there. He got pushed away and then uh, had to use the slide and then there was nowhere to run from PGU. Now is the high ground. Pulse bomb onto Icy. I mean, probably would have died to this Terra Surge, to be honest with you. Oh, a nice slide kill from PGE. Bro. As students of the game will cap the second point. Wow. This is uh, anything but back and forth right now as students of the game taking two. Some of these shots, though, that like... It's PG nasty. hits like uh, uh, on a slide with like rocket with how good he is like around him. I mean, they are just uh, when you watch it from this POV, like it's so easy. Uh, it looks so easy, but like I mean, it's man, you so watch tough. probably from his like his stream POV and he is like, freaking out and just <laughs> like the crazy stuff, man. It's like uh, sometimes watching Sojourns, really like top world class Sojourns, it feels like watching the trailer where it's just like the Sojourn is just going ballistic and just killing five, you know, but it actually happens in front of our eyes. Since it takes care of Chopper though, both the DPS and students of the game picking up kills to start off this fight. Time is not in good stead. Firmly evicted from this next one. Oh, a little 10 player kill streak too from Scissors, not too bad. Since the game, this is. Um, this is not close. Well, it kind of is, but the, the, their ability to kind of come back and their ultimate usages as well have just been so clean. I mean, they're shutting down Chopper and Rocket, and it's been hard for Chopper and Rocket to really get into these fights. Rocket getting booped away constantly by Rack, and then Chopper too hard, and it's tough for him to actually find angles in these fights. A 2-0 here, since the game, on the route to a map number five. Yeah, they're looking really clean here on Flashpoint, right? And by the time this next fight kicks off, probably 60% on the point as Icy steps up, just tries to have some presence. Sound barrier. Now Chopper's going to have a tough time doing much. However, a later one here from Opener, but still, they can't really fight the point, Matt, because there's a Katsune rush. Here's CJ's pulse bomb from Scissors goes a little wide, but almost instantly, as soon as they see Chopper do any kind of, like, any pixel movement, oh, you want to move to the left? No worries, we're going to charge straight at you. Luckily, though, Chopper's death will not go in vain because Rocket fills the kill feed with red. And that'll be time. This is their turn to cap. Uh, but as soon as the game, Matt, they held out long enough. They got one fight in them. 87% and oats to spare. Yeah, Timeless has 
to be perfect from here on out. Uh, the bad part for Timeless, right, is students of the game, you can like speed boost, terror surge, and then PGE is probably going to have that overclock. You think that's enough to result in a kill, right? We've seen a lot of teams kind of combo these abilities now, and no sound barrier on the opposite side. He's in position from Icy as well, just holding this corner. He's taking a fair bit of damage though, as PG ascends to the skies and Quilly dragged back down again with that Terra Surge. Good, Suzu on Icy, but Icy's still low. Desperate need of attention. Rocket's already made it hurt though, as uh, he ends up killing Scissors. PG, once again, dashing forward, trying to find kills, but Rocket is just too slippery, just falls into the lap of Chopper and just gets a swift boot to the head. Timeless, they are gonna be able to win this fight at the hands of Chopper and his students of the game. They can get the touch here, Matt, but will they invest much? It doesn't... Are they even going to get the touch here? I don't think they are. No, they're just going to back off. Yeah, I mean, there's no way you kind of contest that, right? So Timeless uh, able to battle back. They get a point next flash points rather close here, so not a far rotation. So what do they have to work with here? I mean, really probably just kind of like maybe you, maybe you do some damage in the mid. You like Cal, you know, uh, try and build up towards that Kitsune rush. Same thing with CJ on the other side. But you know, Timeless probably going to have an advantage in having that beat. I'm on fire. All right, Rocket. Time to go demon mode again with this pulse bomb. Like I mentioned before, one of the clutchest players we've seen on Tracer this tournament so far. Checking scissors, forces the recall. Good start. Now point pressured by Timeless. By the tank, and in fact the whole team is just jumping down. Wants to muddle the mixture a little bit here. There's a rocket still trying to find a, a way into this fight, going pretty low, and scissors forces the recall. Still manages to find the kill on infected. After that, Katsuna Rush is laid on the point. There you go. Reset for students of the game now as they back off. Yeah, I think students of the game just in a really weird spot, like, you know, in terms of where their support ultimates are lining up with, like, Timelesses at the moment, where Timeless, uh, you know, uses that rush, able to get the point, and they're going to get to, what, probably, like, 50, 60 percent, probably looking at one more fight here for students of the game on this point before we go to, uh, you know, a, a final flashpoint. Woohoo! That was close. This ends. He's almost got rolled there. Nice angle from Chopper here, but he has to be careful. Almost instantly, you can hear that Katsune Rush being pulled as Chopper was trying to line people up for a railgun. Oh, what a shot! Just plasma. That's all left of uh, Scissor's brain. I still flip there from soon to the game as well. Can they find these uh, pickups? Chopper is trying desperately to stay alive here. That sound barrier is going to be good for four for Timeless. Same for students of the game. And Infected, all his supports on the high ground, was very much on his lonesome on low. Cow just dropping onto the point. They're just trying to stall out for as long as possible while Chopper and Rocket clean house. They're pretty fortunate they had that flip, though, right? I mean, students of the game, you don't have that flip. We are on our final flash point where... Uh, the flip gives them maybe another attempt here uh you know with 80 percent and counting here for timeless so students of the game another fight here potentially overclock pulse bomb did he force re to work with i think he maybe he did no he didn't okay there's the re from scissors pulse bomb in hand it's time for scissors to maybe come up clutch oh pge these shots do not miss Body shot into Lucio too as they do run away. Infectors already killed two. PG sniping opener. And that'll be students of the game finding a very quick flip there. Mats. Three ultimates in the bank almost with Cal nearing that Katsune rush. Timeless is their last chance here as they are closing in on a map number five. Our students of the game. Timeless just want to end this here right now and bring us to a fifth point on Flashpoint. And the biggest thing is just winning that fight with the overclock, right? Uh, I know it gives you just a whole suite of ultimates here to use towards the end. But you know you can finish the game off here. I mean, Rocket's nothing but clutch, so look at this pulse bomb in hand. Continue rush, forcing the recall. Okay, now he's in trouble though. 52 HP, just trying to get some heals. Does manage to find some of the offers. And that pulse bomb goes a little bit wide as well. Not today, Rockets. Terror Surge from both Arissas. Who's going to come out on top, though? Icy with the Spear Spin. The Kutuni Rush as well. It's going to help him stay alive. Icy with the kill onto Cal. Chopper 2 just dominating from the skies. And Timeless, we're going to go to a point number five here as the time ticks over. Flashpoint going all the way, and I wouldn't have it any other way either. 
Oh, I mean, this series uh, from really start to finish, right? I mean, Midtown went to OT. The first control map went all the way of the distance. Uh, They're on push decided by like less than a meter. Now Flashpoint going to our absolute last point as uh, you literally could not get a closer series between two teams. And it'll be both tracers here battling on the point. See if you can get control first. Rocket forces the recoil pretty early on, but it's a, an effective versus icy duel at this very moment in time. Chopper trying to jump over, perfect spear spin there from Infected, but still takes some back shots from Rocket and Chopper as he ends up falling over. And Mega Health Pack not used at all there, as you can see all these sand barriers healing everybody up. Nice pulse bomb onto PGE, and Rocket just bursts him through that over health. Point has been unlocked too, and Rocket still vying and just causing so much of the attention to be drawn towards him. And Chopper just lasers people down. Students of the game end up falling over. And again, time to take that first cap. Man, as uh, that pulse bomb comes up huge, both teams end up using their uh, sound barriers there during that fight, even with the tanks low, as you still have both Sojourns and Tracers alive. Both of these teams feel like if their damage dealers are alive, they are very much in the fight, regardless of what else is happening. So the students of the game moving their way onto the point. 35% you see you can just kind of play around this middle pillar though you can kind of just contest for so long it's going to force students Whoa. of the game to go okay all right open it gets a uh, stray kill onto pg and they're going to make this fight quick that they're going to try and end this now 60 percent for timeless and counting students of the game need to find a reset here and fast I'm here. yeah they're going to have one oh, more fight late. really at this is that late kill is scissors bad. here towards the end you're going to be able to get back in the fight rather quickly, though. It's, uh, it is the Tracer, so you're still, regardless, in last fight territory. Just now, somebody's going to have to be the one that gets a touch. Look, maybe Rack was going around the outside. Can they touch? Can they touch? They don't touch! They can't get there in time! Timeless! They just pushed them off. They can't get there. It and like Timeless... Had to be, he had to be booped. They have to have been. New Junk City is theirs. It looks so obtainable for students of the game. It looked like they had the touch, but Timeless end up taking New Junk City out of nowhere. A three and one, but the score wouldn't dictate how close that series was. It could have gone to a map number five, but it was just cut short there. Timeless advance, luminosity is in their sights now. As students of the game, they got knocked out in the losers. Yeah, I mean, just a tremendous series, though, I think, from both teams, right? Like, even in a loss, students of the game, I think they have proved, you know, with how we saw Timeless play against uh, the Toronto Defiant uh, the other day, that they belong in that upper echelon, because this one literally goes down to the wire. The final flashpoint, overtime, in overtime of Midtown. The final control point, I mean, in less than a meter Ridiculous. and push, just a crazy series. That was an absurd series. I mean, just going back to that Coliseo as well, the control, it yeah. was like, oh, it goes one way, then the other, one way, one the other. My God. I mean, Des, you can break this one down and wrap out the rest of the day. Timeless W there. That series was uh, unreal. It was unreal. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little, it was a little disappointing to see that C9 at the end because it was like such a close fight. Every every map was such a close fight. Was, everything was so good. But at the end, it was just, it was like, oh, it was it's so, going to be good. It, it looks like they were going to touch. They were so <laughs> close to getting that I touch. I think it was just a boop, I think. I think yeah. attack was like trying to go around the outside and yeah. it had to be displaced, like trying to get onto the point. Spear uh, or boop just, or spin. Just a bit whatever. unlucky. Yeah, there's so bit much unlucky. pressure on there. Is with that late kill by Rocket on the scissors. You know, normally you'd want the tracer with the more reliable touch in the yeah. overtime, but you know he's not able to be there. Someone else filling the gap. Uh, we're here we can take a yeah, look at it, see, see it. what actually happened okay. for the final moments. Uh, but the way the, the way the series was played, I'm pretty confident this wasn't, you know, just an error. It wasn't so C9, okay. Look at this experience from opener. Oh, oh that oh, is okay. so oh. tight. Was that a javelin too? It seemed like a oh, double just, boot. Just boot, just boot. Just boot, just boot. No damage. That's so. nuts. That's okay. a heartbreak. That was like the last inch before he would get out of the range where he'd still be booked <laughs> onto the point. Opener catches that Crazy. like one millisecond later, he doesn't get it. But in the end, Timeless, what an incredible series. Rocket, yeah. that's a superstar performance from Rocket. I think he's staking his claim as looking like one of the best tracers in North America. And and I and not of the rookie class. Not not, not there's no qualifier on it. He's one of the best tracers in North America right now. Uh, 
on that elite tier with players like Sugar Free. Yeah, and I think this is why like tomorrow's match, I'm like even more excited. Like, I mean, Timeless had a great showing today. They're going, they're going to be up against Luminosity as well. That's going to be a very tight match, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if anyone can stand up to just the raw power that Timeless has shown. I mean, so many of the teams in NA have been incredibly uh, competitive, but I think strategy-wise, the meta is just shaping up in this incredibly uh, a good way for Timeless, right? You've got Tracer, Sojourn, able to be pretty much locked in on the DPS. Uh, and then CJ as well, want to give him an honorable mention. CJ on the Kiriko yeah. found so many openers, so many late picks. I mean, Rocket was hitting, these pulses are absurd. Like, he's doing things that are, like these are like 1% plays and he's hitting them like 50% of the time. It's unreal to see that performance. And I gotta put respect though on, on Scissors and um, on PGE because Rocket, this was not like, some easy pushover match where he can just duel the enemy DPS all day. I mean, they were shooting back the whole series long. Rocket just kept the pressure on, kept the team play going, and uh, man, what an incredible series. What endurance and duration from these teams. This is the type of Overwatch I would expect to see at the elite international level, but I honestly wasn't expecting to get a competition like this yeah. so early on in OWCS. It just shows you the, the raw talent in North America as well. Uh, it's something we've heard argued in the offseason is that North America really benefited from the fact that there were so many top tier Overwatch League teams in the region the last couple of years, right? Because that gives you more, uh, more practice time with such really excellent teams. You know, you just look at some of the North American team last year in the Overwatch League, right? Well, I mean, these young guns, they've been able to practice against some of those teams. And, you know, if they were around that level already, uh, they've leveled up because of that, right? And I think you're seeing the result here with so many great teams in OWCS North America, whether it's Timeless here, for example, even look at a team like Luminosity, for example, uh, many shining individuals. But I do think we need to take some time to also talk about students of the game here because they do get eliminated here, yeah. um, taking the loss here in the lower bracket. But Not this from is my a, heart. Not from my heart. Yeah, a five-man roster that really inspired us. Uh, and as you said, PGE Sisters had such great mechanics throughout. Infected, we've been hyping up Infected because Infected is one of the best young tank players in the region, right? That have been, been Ryan, uh, up and coming for so long now, right? Uh, Rocket, like you said, Jake, earned himself player of the match here uh, with some stand-up performances, one of the best races in the region. Um, but yeah, great win for Timeless, but uh, also shout out to students of the game. Yeah. yeah, you definitely got to put respect on every player in the server here. Yeah, and I think getting Rocket getting the play, player of the match, I think is definitely oh, deserved. Is like, I think oh. there was multiple, like, throughout the whole series, it was just Rocket just, like, you could tell that he didn't want to lose this. Like, he wanted to move on. He wanted to go more. And I think it really showed throughout the whole match. His Tracer play was just top-notch. But it's, it's like, like you said as well that, it, well, I said this, that in the meta, it's really important to have a damage you. And you're seeing mm -hmm. the results of like what a great Tracer player can do for you. And we saw in Timeless match yesterday, even when you're playing a team like Toronto Defiant, who many consider to be the favorites, Rocket going head to head with merit sometimes on the Tracer, it gives Timeless like a win condition mm -hmm. in so many of these fights. So can't talk enough about how important it is for Timeless that Rocket keeps showing up in these Tracer duels and keeps, you know, taking space for the rest of his team, keeping yeah. the flank angle, angles for the rest of his team, and also then just getting the picks as well. Yeah, definitely a very talented player. It's time for a post-match interview. We're gonna have a post-match interview with the player of the match, and it's none other than Rocket. Rocket, big congratulations on getting the win. How are you feeling? Ah, oh, dude, just feeling relieved, man. I mean, that was that was a tough match. Like, you know, I, I was talking to the team, you know, before the set as like a briefing, and I was like, there's not really any like match in this tourney that's free. You know, uh, in tournaments before, you know, there's some teams that you kind of just sweep by, especially in the lower bracket. But, dude, even in like you know the upper bracket, lower bracket, everything, like these matches are tough, dude. Yeah. I mean, uh, do you mind sort of expanding a little bit more on that? You, you said that this match was uh, a bit a bit of a tough match for you. What made it tough for you, and how did you overcome that? Um, I think what made it tough is just that, like, you know, um, I think a lot of their game plan going is was just to shut me down. Um, like, it was very, very clear with, you know, how hard they were marking me. Um, and I think, you know, just overall, I just, you know, the team persevered and we just adapted to it. I think, um, you know, our, our in-game adaptability is some of the best in the tourney, so. Yeah, I, I guess I wanted to ask, you know, for, for your place in, in the scene right now, as, you know, I would say maybe in the past would have called you an up-and-coming player, but I think your performances in the tournament kind of are putting you in that top echelon. Uh, how does it feel? Like, what are the goals now for you and for the Timeless squad? Is your vision kind of expanding beyond the region? Are you starting to, to think ahead to what, what might be what might be possible at something like DreamHack? Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. I think our, uh, our goal is to, you know, be an international-level team. 
Um, it's going to take a lot of work to get there, and I think we have the players and you know the work ethic to to do so. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's that's definitely our end goal, and you know, I think we've uh, shown a really really good showing so far, uh, individually and as a team. So, um, yeah, no, that we 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 hope for nothing but you know first. It was a great win today, and of course you're facing Luminosity next. But I do want to chat about the match yesterday against the Toronto Defiant. Obviously, Toronto Defiant, to many, is hailed as this like top dog in the scene because they had an investment and the players they picked up on that roster. Can you talk us through what you learned from yesterday's match? How did it feel taking that loss, and like what did you discuss after the loss leading into uh, today's match? Um, I think everyone kind of just, you know, we, we realized how that was a really close match and that team was very, very talented. Um, and we weren't surprised that we played to that level. We were kind of just like, you know, reassured, I'd say. Um, you know, we were just like, okay, we, scrims, scrims are legit, you know, we can, we can play up to them. We can play up to everyone as long as we, uh, we keep our cool and, you know, play our game and don't make mistakes on our end. Uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't be in grand finals, you know? All right. Uh, I mean, that's it for the interview. Thank you so much for your time, and I'm really excited to see you perform again tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Rocket. All right. Rocket, great guy. I mean, yeah. I'm like... That's a star in the making right there. I, I've got to say, for the, for Luminosity tomorrow, I, I'd be sweating a little bit thinking about yeah. going yeah, up against I Timeless. Would. After watching that I'll say series, it right now. I predict Timeless. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm feeling like I'm leaning towards us. I still think LG can, can put up a big fight. I think give him a day to workshop more on the Arisa comp, uh, to talk things over. I think that could be a very, very close competitive series uh, with players like Vision and King potentially able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe as well. Um, I also want to call out, though, as much as we're focusing on Rocket, I want to call out Chopper as well as having a great performance today. Yeah. You know, he was subbed in and out for Sanjun, and, you know, I saw him tweeting about, oh, like, he's having a tough time in his maps. But to see the team commit 100%, have him in the whole series long, consistent performances, finding big frags, going very, very balanced toe-to-toe -to -toe with PGE for me, and, and yeah. coming out ahead in some cases, for me, that's huge, actually, for the team, because, yes, you can have one superstar player, Rocket can be playing incredibly well, but as he mentioned, Rocket, like, the, you need that whole team effort. Overwatch is a team game, especially now after the season nine changes. One player just cannot do it alone or, or even close to that, right? You always need the full court press coming in from everybody. And so I think it's huge to have Chopper regain his confidence in a match like this, where I think he should be feeling really good about his performance and should be confident going up against anybody in the region now. Yeah, well now, I mean, Timeless is even looking scarier with this win. So let's take a look at the bracket uh, after all the matches being played today. We're looking at the lower bracket first. Yes, it is going to be Luminosity Gaming versus Timeless. Like we've been talking about, this is going to be a very close match. And let's take a look at the upper bracket because that one is going to oh, be man. a banger as well. This is the well. question Toronto that's been everyone's M80, mind, yeah. right? Yes. Everyone has been asking who's the top dog in NA. I think the conversation has leaned towards Toronto. But based on performances alone, what we've seen on this broadcast, you you can't be thinking this is going to be a one-sided affair. I mean, for me, I think M80 looks like a very serious threat. I thought it would be we need to get we I need to get Pelican off ping. You know, that maybe then M80 reaches their full potential. If they could win this now with players on ping and they have even higher to climb, they could be the standard bearer for North America. Yeah, I mean, and also I talked to what someone that they, uh, yesterday. I talked to Pelican. Mm. Both of them are very confident that they can win. So. Mm. Who's gonna be right? You gotta be. I mean, these guys are pros, right? They yeah. know that there's only one way to be. No matter what the odds are against you, you come in with a 100% confidence, right? And like total faith in yourself. And for those guys individually, I mean, can you blame them, right? They've had massively winning records historically. They've been in the top of the scene for pretty much as long as they've been here. Yeah. As long as we've had them competing, they've been at the top. Yeah. And when that's your career, you know, you gotta go in confident, right? That, it's just logical. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just excited for tomorrow. All right, uh, let's wrap up today uh, with some. Energy amazing plays because we had some amazing plays that we saw throughout the whole day what are we getting this blossom from pelican look at this oh patience, yeah patience. and oh that's no one's looking at him just cleans them up such a satisfying feeling on reaper i will say i love the reaper guy his special move is very amazing one thing i did like and i mean so just oh this was a this sick was play. so this was so sick this is this is oh, this oh, is what my yeah. God. yeah this is what they're talking about the body jail. Ball, right? put him in jail <laughs> That is illegal. Yeah, and the next one, a grab situation. Dante? From Dante, Dante okay. with the grab. Where's he going with this? Oh, oh that's, that's a clean, clean grab. grab. That's a big grab. That that's is a big grab. Clean with the grab. Pulse bomb to wrap it up. A combo as, <laughs> as old as Overwatch itself. Yeah. And last but not least, we have... Oh, that can't happen. That, one, that just yeah. can't happen. 
You just, they, you just can't die in, to a Widowmaker in spawn like that. <laughs> Come on, it's 2024, guys. <laughs> what, what happening? Vision oh, had double? such a sick game this series, too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Such an exciting up. talent, 100%. exciting, exciting talent from NA. Vision is great. I mean, he really is, like you're saying, like, that's one of those guys who is now in the conversation on this elite hit scan tier. In the past, we would have said maybe it's Seeker and Hydron, and that maybe is the top tier, and maybe we have to go a tier down Vision to is find in there. more. But now I'm thinking about Vision. I'm thinking about Chopper. I'm thinking about Sonjin. There's so many more names on the tip of my tongue now, and that just makes me excited. I don't know who's going to take this whole thing, and you know who's going to be, be taking the NA flag to, to DreamHack, but I think we've got a lot of, of great candidates.